Jia Hao. I'm Jim Schneider, and this is Shanghai A to Z, a video series about daily life, culture, and travel destinations in Shanghai, China, and your mom's favorite series about Shanghai. Don't believe me? Just ask her. Give her a call. When was the last time you gave your mother a phone call anyway? Hit pause. Call her up. She'd love to hear from you. I'll wait. On today's episode, we take a look at what goes on in Shanghai when the sun goes down. Nightlife is our topic for today, and I'll even be giving you the inside scoop on my own crazy nightlife activities. Right after a quick word from one of our sponsors. You know that boring feeling you experience when you're bored with all the same old, lame old beverages you keep in your refrigerator or purchase from your local convenience mart? That feeling is called boredom, and it's a drag. You shouldn't have to settle for drinking lackluster liquid that lacks not only in luster but also lacks in bold, indescribable flavors, in a hodgepodge of miscellaneous secret ingredients, and in a melange of textures from smooth to creamy to chunky, and everything in between. And thanks to Mystery Drink, you don't have to settle for everyday subpar bush league run-of-the-mill hydration anymore. Mystery Drink is way above par hydration for thirsty folks who live and drink. On the edge, mystery drink is always an experience because no two mystery drinks are the same. We guarantee it, and the best part is you never know what you're going to get because we don't list any ingredients on our labels. We leave the ingredient decision-making process to our team of anonymous mixologists who strive to create unique, non-lethal, individual single-batch beverages for you. Sip, guzzle, gulp, chug. You decide how you want to enjoy it because that beverage is the only one of its kind. What's inside is a mystery. Even to us, it might be alcoholic. It might contain CBD. It might be dangerously caffeinated or spiked with a generous dose of sedatives. It might be chock full of vitamins, minerals, herbal complexes, and liquid Viagra, or even loaded with laxatives. It could be sugar-free or filled with enough sugar to send you spiraling into the deep, dark, dizzying depths of an irreversible diabetic coma. With mystery drink, you never know, and not knowing is what makes it so awesome and outrageous. That's why we say that Mystery Drink puts the rage in beverage. For a mind-boggling, head-scratching discount on your first order of Mystery Drink, enter the promo code Schneider slash Rage before completing your purchase. Mystery Drink. Take a sip and see what happens. Welcome back. Now, as you might imagine, there are pros and cons to living in a big city. Oftentimes, one of the pros of big city living is a robust nightlife. Of course, not every major city is the same. And some cities have a livelier, more bustling nightlife than others. And in my opinion, Shanghai's nightlife is up there with the most exciting nightlives in the world. I went out one hot Saturday night in the dog days of summer to investigate the nightlife habits of people in Shanghai. And here's what I found in my investigation. As sunset approaches, loads of people go to the Bund or Lu Jia's Way to take in the views. Shanghai gets some beautiful sunsets, and people can't help but take pictures of the scenery around them. People will sometimes dress up to have their picture taken with the big city skyline in the background or the sun setting overhead. Photographers are also drawn to the Bund or Lu Jia's Way at this hour to capture their own image of the dazzling transformation from sunlight to neon lights. After sunset, it's time for dinner. So many people enjoy dining at their favorite restaurant in Lu Jia's Way or across the river along East Nanjing Road, where they might also do some walking and shopping while the night is still relatively young. They enjoy spending some quality time with their family and friends, and of course, sometimes with a date, hoping to find new love, or at least hoping to make their parents happy. And then, as in many places, people will move on from dinner and shopping to seeing a movie or going to a cafe for a chat. While I was out exploring, I passed by the largest Starbucks in the whole freaking world, and I decided to go in and see what their nighttime vibe was like. Because of the somewhat late hour, not many people appeared to be drinking coffee. But this is a special Starbucks with booze on the menu, and a lot of people were drinking cocktails. At the time, I hadn't had any alcohol in about 19 months, so I opted for an affogato, a little espresso and ice cream to beat the heat and give me some more energy for my investigation. I left Starbucks and continued on my journey. I passed the majestic theater, which was all lit up but didn't appear to have any activities going on inside. I walked home to grab my bike, passing people along the way who walked in couples or in small groups, or sat on benches playing games on their phones. When I got home, I had a quick bite to eat and hopped on my bike, which I rode to my favorite bridge. Yes, much like a troll, I have a favorite bridge in Shanghai, and this particular bridge is over the Suzhou River. 
It's closed to car traffic, so it's actually a popular spot for people to gather at night and drink a beer under the night sky. People enjoy walking across the bridge and taking in the scenery, which can be quite beautiful, especially when there's a full moon. I took a few pictures myself before moving on to another location. It was late enough for the bar scene to be exciting, so I cruised past some bars and nightclubs in my district. I lived near loads of bars and clubs in Shanghai, and even though I'd quit drinking, I always enjoyed seeing people out, soaking up the nightlife, and having a good time. Because it was so hot, and maybe because of some lingering COVID restrictions, a lot of people were out on the sidewalks, drinking, smoking, and chatting, and sometimes buying snacks from the vendors who'd set up their traveling kitchens outside of the bars, hoping to cash in on all those hungry night owls. To be honest, a lot of the people I saw looked pretty bored, even miserable, likely because of the heat, but also because the nightlife scene had deteriorated during the whole zero COVID era. The heat made me feel a little bit of sympathy for all the people out working at the late hour. People who sold food or flowers or worked construction. People who go to bed early sometimes don't realize just how much work gets done while they're in bed. But a lot of people use the opportunity to make a buck, like taxi drivers who can clean up when the subway closes. After scoping out the bar scene, or at least what I could manage to scope out from the bike lane, I decided to head home. It didn't appear to be a very exciting night, but for a lot of people, the night was just beginning, and some of the bars and clubs would come alive after I'd gone to bed. I was curious about them, sure, because Shanghai has some amazing bars and clubs, but I was more tired than curious. And besides, I had a lot to do the next day. I didn't mind calling it a night. So what if I was old and boring? And single, I could always experience the nightlife some other time. After all, this is Shanghai, a paradise for night owls. It's just that lately, I'd been feeling more like an early bird. If you have any experience investigating Shanghai's nightlife, let me know about it in the comments below, because I would love to hear about it, especially if it's as wild and crazy as my experience. All right, all you adventure lovers and adrenaline junkies out there, it's time for me to tell you about Ascendia Sports, a 100% real and legitimate business owned and operated by my friend Josh, a 100% real and legitimate businessman. Not one of those heartless business bots you've been hearing about on the news. So what is Ascendia Sports? Well, it is your go-to booking website for adventure sports and activities around the globe. Go ahead and click on the link in this video's description or type A-S-C-E-N-D-I-A dash S-P-O-R-T-S dot C-O-M into your favorite web browser and then select the country or region that you're living in or visiting to explore your options. Choose from a wide range of activities like skydiving, paragliding, rafting, and many more. Let Ascendia Sports help you add some adventure to your life. Visit their website today and choose your adventure. And don't forget to select Jim Schneider A to Z in the How Did You Find Us section while you're booking. Your next adventure is waiting for you at Ascendia Sports. And one more thing. Did you know that you can watch another Shanghai A to Z video on this same topic, but in Chinese, with your choice of subtitles in Chinese or English? It's great to watch if you're learning Chinese like me, or if you're just Chinese language curious. There's no law against that. Look for the playlist Shanghai A to Z parentheses Mandarin on my channel and watch any of the videos that appeal to you. Watch them all, like them, share them, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more engaging content on Shanghai and world travel, culture, and other stuff. Because subscribing to my channel costs you nothing, but it means everything to me. Thanks for watching this episode of Shanghai A to Z, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.